Hello, you're watching Fishing in Germany, and in this series, I'm going to go over the common species of fish you're going to come across fishing here. I'm referring to freshwater fishing for now, so it's, you know, fish you're going to find in the rivers and ponds and lakes here. Um, I'm going to put this into three different sections. We're going to have our predator fish, our non-predator fish, and I don't like to say it like this, but what we say are our nuisance fish, fish you don't really, you're not trying to catch but they're gonna get on your hook anyways so that'll be the three sections i think for now i'll start out with my favorite and that's going to be raubfish raubfish off deutsch it means predator fish and these are the common ones that you can find in germany we have pike uh, in german that is called hecht and zander in english that is going to be called you know it's weird i've looked up translations for this and it says pike perch it looks like a walleye to me i don't know if walleye get that big see the thing is is i grew up in california we didn't have pike and we didn't have zander there so that's the second one zander then there's barsh which is basically um perch uh fells which is the european catfish these things grow huge they grow to be monsters and then there's eel i love these things they're so cool really cool but um those are the main predator fish you're going to come across here they're all fairly common um so that's the list i can think off the top of my head that i just wrote down quickly and i'll just go through each one real quick on ways of catching for pike um there's several ways to fish for them you can use uh, in germany you can't use live bait it has to be dead you know anything that's a uh, that has a backbone it, you can't use it live for fishing whether it's a frog or a uh, fish so we can use uh tutkota fish which is dead live fish so a lot of times um a roach or a small chub those work great um there's a whole method of how to rig that for a whole different video but yeah with a pike you definitely need to use a metal leader though not braid or not just normal line their teeth will cut right through that so you have to use the metal leader uh you're lucky if you get one without it most of the time they're gonna they're, they'll bite right through it uh even just two days ago i was fishing with a just a pop-up bully and um I had a big a small bite then a big bite and the line was gone so it could have been that i had a smaller fish on the line and a pike came and just snapped it bit into the fish and bit my line off that's possible um, zander is basically the same thing i mean how we fish for those with uh, we can use dead bait or we can uh, also use lures they work as well i've caught both ways you can do bottom fishing you could do float fishing there's several different ways to catch these for perch for barsh um lures work as well or just a night crawler I've, though every time i've caught a perch i think it's been on a, a night crawler um wells the big catfish you're going to need to rig specially for them you know they're going to need a big dead fish or a big treble hook with about six seven eight night crawlers on it you know um unless you get a really small one but these things can get up to like six feet long and that's not uncommon they're huge eel i've had the best of luck catching eel with worm and night at bottom fishing with worm at night time in the summer it's the best time they're um i don't know i think there's they're in decline there's just not as common anymore as they used to be unfortunately but they're amazing I, it's one of my favorites they're they're the best to eat they're the coolest creature from the rivers here and um they taste really good those are um you know they you can catch them on their predator fish as well so i mean they'll eat uh a smaller fish they'll eat um uh, chicken livers all that stuff it helps they have a very so strong sense of smell as well I've, I've even heard that if you're if you're a smoker your hands have that scent on your fingers and you're touching the hook and the bait they can sense that and deters them I don't know how true that is but it does make sense if they have a strong sense of smell um, some people will actually chum the water with cut up fish with uh salmon something oily mackerel anything like that to draw them out and yeah those are the main predator fish you'll find 
commonly in Germany. So that's it for this part. The second part, I'm going to go into what we call our non-predatory fish or our freed fish. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.